Hi guys, welcome to today's video. And today I'm going to be talking about something quite technical and that is called network layering. Now this is important because um, a lot of you have heard about things like layer one and layer two. So um, without further ado, let's jump into the video. If you follow DeFi very closely, um, which is your decentralized finance tokens, you've probably come across the term layer two. Okay. Now, many crypto folks will talk about this because um, you have layer one and layer two, and they often speak about this in terms of blockchains. When we use the term blockchain, we are talking about this distributed ledger that processes transactions. It, it allows you know funds to move from, from A to B. Um, these transactions are recorded, everything like that. So a blockchain should be three things. It should be scalable, it should be secure, and it should be decentralized. Now, blockchains like uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum are often described as layer one blockchains or layer one chains because they settle every transaction that happens in the network. This has unfortunately led to scalability problems and high fees when there are many transactions taking place in the network. Um, we've seen this recently with Ethereum. Uh, I know I was using uh, Uniswap and uh, at times the transaction fees was around somewhere between 50 to 100 dollars per transaction and i want you to think of it this way if you go to the shop early in the morning there's not many people there's a few cashiers you can go in get what you want take it to the till pay for it boom you're done okay but think about performing that same transaction when everyone comes home from work everyone pops into the shop there are now fewer cashiers, there are more people standing in line, and what happens to your transaction? For you to actually transact is going to take much longer. Now, when it comes to your layer one blockchains, when this happens, the transaction fees go up on the Ethereum blockchain. Skyrocket, it has come down now, where are we? This is the 16th of June. Um, it has come down to a few dollars but it was up between the 50 and 100 dollar mark per transaction because of the congestion on the network so what then is layer two and how can it help so layer two is basically the framework that gets built on top of your layer one blockchain and it gets built on top of this chain in order to improve scalability layer two basically creates um, a secondary framework where these transactions can now take place independently of layer one or what we call uh, these transactions taking place off the main chain right and this allows for scalability um, to happen now, as a result of this layer two solutions have the potential to actually achieve high throughput in, in other words it means that transactions can go through very very cheaply and very quickly without sacrificing network security a great portion of the work that would have been performed by the layer one chain or the the main chain has now moved over to the second layer. So while the main chain provides security, the second layer offers the throughput, uh, being able to perform hundreds and thousands of transactions every single second. So if I can use an example, um, I know Ethereum is busy with Ethereum 2.0. And when it does that, that second layer will be there. Um, a token like Electric Cash, right? Um, this one has layer two that is in final development as well so what that is going to mean is that when that token is um, fully operating on layer two you'll be able to perform very fast extremely um, cheap transactions using that particular crypto so i hope this helps you understand the difference between layer one and layer two um, that when you hear of a crypto and it's only on layer one you know that everything it needs to do is only in that one blockchain but with uh, any crypto that has layer two operating, it means that there's a second framework on top of it that does all the, you know, the, the processing of those transactions. It's going to be fast. It's going to be cheap while not sacrificing network security. Okay, folks, thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to leave a like, um, subscribe and hit that notification bell to remain updated on any and all videos that come through from this channel. Have a blessed day.